How much are you getting paid a month? And if you're working already and you're still looking forward to do masters here, because we have assignments, exercises, yeah. and things like that, it's not that easy to like. Alright guys, so I'm at the moment here in Nuremberg and here with Sonia, she is currently studying her Masters in Data Science from uh, FAO Erlangen. What are you doing in Nuremberg? I live in Nuremberg because the accommodation is really bad at Erlangen, <laughs> like I couldn't find any of it, so I'm here in Nuremberg. Can we just go into your bit of introduction, what yeah. has been your background? I studied in Bangalore, I studied BSc Data Science with Statistics and Economics as my majors. So I also scored like a 9.2 there and I did three internships already this I didn't have like work experience so after that I began to like apply in 2022 winter semester so I applied to around eight universities into like public universities so I had to do a lot of research about um, what are the extra points I could score because in Germany I feel like scoring good grades is really important I also applied to universities like LMU Heidelberg FAU Mannheim Potsdam, Lufana. So I applied to these. Close which, to Hamburg, yeah. Yeah. So I was looking for data science okay. and something related to analytics, but I really just got into two, Mannheim and FAU. What did you do for the credits, right? Because you had a three-year degree, yeah. whereas a B.Tech guy is from computer science. They have like 180. Correct. What did you do to tackle that issue? So basically, for me, I was doing a BSc honors course, mm. which was already giving me more than what a BSc degree would give. But also the fact that my bachelor's was very 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 relevant to my master's degree I think that was also a plus point right. and also I did like a few internships extracurricular activities and things like that so did you do your own application uh, no did you write an SOP by yourself yes. can you explain like how important is this document for SOP you have to first research I would say about the university you should know what course you're applying to and what is important to like put into this document because sometimes I feel like here people don't really want like unrelevant stuff yeah. there like you should exclude things which are not required because they will just go past your document like really quickly and they don't have a lot of time because mm. there are too many applications and just focus on key points of your achievements and you don't have to really like boast about yourself and things <laughs> like that at all. How many LORs did you give? Four to five. Wow. Yes. Who did you take from? My director and my coordinator, my HOD, the place where I worked from. Okay, cool. <laughs> Can we talk a little bit more about your data science course now? What is the structure of the course? What sort of subjects are there? What specializations one can do in that? I would say it's a really really rigorous course because uh, FAU has data science and it has three core modules okay. which you have to do. It's very math oriented because mine is a like research university and also people say that FAU is like second top university at research which I'm not really sure about <laughs> but uh, they're really good at it. The thing is there are these three modules which you have to do or else you don't get the degree. You have three tries. You either complete it or you don't get the degree. So mm. there's this catch behind it. So the modules are like core modules, then you have majors, then you have minors, application, technical, and you also have a master's thesis, master's seminar, totally of 120 credits. So the major would be like what specialization you want to do. And the minor would be you can choose from around like all the specialization. AI and machine learning is one of the specialization in right. data science. There's numerics and simulation, knowledge database, and things like that. So it's not that easy to like give the exams. It's it's kind of difficult. The course is uh, intense. Yeah, yeah. What sort of job opportunities are out there for okay. a data scientist when they graduate? Okay, so as of now I'm working. So I work at Siemens Health in Years. Yeah. I mainly work with automation, like Excel automation. Like I, I actually am working for one of my POs. Like they basically have some tasks which are like priority tasks and they would not be able to like allocate so much capacity towards it, like time towards it. So they just give it to like their work student which I am doing. How much are you getting paid a month? I started off with like 960 but okay. it eventually grows. Nice. So now I think I'm getting paid out around 1250. After tax? Yeah. Good enough for your yeah. survival here? Yeah. It's, I get to save like I think around 200 to 250. Last question. What's your plan after completing this course? Okay. What do you want to do? I would probably finish my degree in max like two or two and a half years. So after this I think I have one or two max semesters. So after that, I would start applying full-time jobs. Like I start maybe like working for two or three years. I want to like 
explore a few things here like i want to see how full time is for me mm-hmm. how the work culture would be and okay. like i still want to explore after that i want to like make like my final conclusion as to what i want to do because i'm still like tossing around with like going back to india or like maybe settling down here okay it depends what do you want to tell to all the future students who are coming and they they are interested in data science what preparations they can make while they're in their home country for example you're like doing your bachelor's i would say that focus on learning your part like for example if you want to do data science i would say focus more on math and like coding which is really really important i would say like focus on those basics because you would not have time to come and do it all over yeah, again here true. and if you're working already and you're still looking forward to do masters here i would still say the same like just like have revise what you what you think is necessary and also a few things for people who are already working is like it's going to be difficult to come back to study mm. so don't put it in your head that i mean it's going to be okay for me like i don't have to study that much because i think one disadvantage for us like as indians would be that we study right before the exam mm. but here everybody studies like throughout the semester because we have assignments exercises yeah. and things like that they're always prepared and for us we just do it like the night or two before that i think is also a disadvantage so that we should just let go of that cool so you heard it from her make sure that you check the description of this video i'll put in some more resources for you that would help you to go smoothly into your admission process if you like this video hit that thumbs up button and i'll see you guys next time bye bye thank you